In this exercise, we're going to find the area of the figure given here, number 25 in our textbook. And we're going to say, well, um, it is actually a pentagon, but we're going to do our shading to show the two different shapes because our area addition postulate tells us that the area of this triangle, non-overlapping with the area of this rectangle, added together will give me the, the total area of this figure, this pentagon. So I already know base times height for the rectangle, one half base times height for the triangle. In the case of a right triangle, I need the two legs. Well, they're not given directly, but I do know this. Opposite sides congruent, this 25. This leg must also be 25 over here. And this is a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple from previous chapter. We should know this right away, or we would have to go through the tedious process of the Pythagorean theorem. Either way, this side is 20 inches. And that's all we needed. And now we'll just make our substitution. Again, the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. Base and height in either order are 20 and 15. And base and height in either order are 19 and 25 for the red figure, or let's say the rectangle. And we'll just do a little bit of simplification there. Um, we'll just, or evaluation. And the blue contributes, sorry, the blue contributes 150 square inches. 475 from the red, and we'll just, at this point, add it all up. The entire figure has an area of 625 square inches. In this exercise, number 26, we're going to make use of the area addition postulate again. And you see I've divided the figure into three pieces. We have here which a parallelogram. We have a triangle and a triangle. So. Um, we'll just go right through this one very quickly. The missing component is the height of the figure. That would be the perpendicular distance. We're going to find that as this magenta triangle is a Pythagorean triple, a multiple of the 5, 12, 13. Um, since this is a parallelogram, 26 opposite sides are congruent. This would be 26 as well. So 5, uh, 12, 13, 10, 24, 26. That was the only missing component. The rest, we'll just plug it all in together. We'll add those three pieces, those three components, and we can substitute directly. And we could simplify and add them all together, and we're done. Um, the only thing of note is we, okay, you'll never do this again because you would just have maybe used this triangle to find the height that was critical. But once you know this height, you could then say, opposite sides, one pair of opposite sides are parallel. The entire figure is a trapezoid, and we'll get that formula next section. But for now, we'll solve it as a sum of parts. We're going to find the area now of this figure, this shaded figure here. This is again a candidate for the area addition postulate, except we're actually going to be subtracting in this case. Um, if you see over here, we don't really know exactly what this shape looks like, but it doesn't really matter because what we have is a triangle right there, a triangle with a height of 3 inches. Simply subtract that, taking the 8 from the square and subtracting the 5. And all I've got to do is take this triangle and take it away. So if I'm going to do that, then I'll just... Well, let me just write this down. I'll do it in expression this, this time. So I've got the area of the square minus the area of the triangle. And the square is side squared. Triangle, one-half base times height. When I substitute the measurements, I've got 8 inches squared. And the triangle has a base of 8, a height of 3. And now just, let's just do the arithmetic. The entire square, 64 square inches. I remove 12 square inches. And in the end, this shaded figure, 52 square inches. And we're done.